Hi ho my fuzzy friends and welcome to my new video. Today I'm gonna talk, as you can see below, or on top, I'm gonna talk about the Twitter conflict, no it's not a Twitter conflict, the conflict on TikTok between furries and gamers. Some of them think that furry might get even more popular and I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's also because of us furry YouTubers like Majira, Nasayina, me and other ones. And well, you can decide on your own whether that's a good point or a bad point. But today I want to talk about the war on TikTok. But first, what is TikTok? Well, TikTok used to be Musical.ly, so some Asian people bought Musical.ly and branded it with a new name TikTok. And it used to be lip synchronizations and now it's more like sketches regarding certain music. And there are not even these sketches, there is a sketch referring to another sketch. You can imagine it like there are two sketches next to each other and you can see how the one reacts to the other one. And well, sometimes there are even four sketches, a smaller one, uh, even bigger, even more bigger, and the really biggest. And that's, that's, oh my god, what's happening? If you, just like me, don't really understand what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you a short sketch which might be trending on TikTok. Well, the Sub Smash Bros thing that's currently trending on TikTok. And I'll do my own thing. And I'm not on TikTok, I will never be, so take it as it is now. With this hashtag furry war, there might be a new trend, both on TikTok, on, I don't know, Twitter, and also on YouTube. There are some videos with more than 500,000 clicks. I never thought that this whole trend and everything in furry could become this important. But how does this war look like? Well, there are people being kidnapped by furries, or they pretend to be kidnapped by furries. If you don't know what I mean, just look at this clip. How you call your lover boy? And if he doesn't answer, oh, lover boy. And if he still doesn't answer, I simply say, baby. On the one hand, you can see that this person is kidnapped, but on the other hand, cringe. I even got one more for you. And there are tons of these videos, and I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. And this is the point where the gamers come. They are ready to protect these people, or normal people, from furries. They are making a lot of clips where they pretend that they are pro furries and after the furries are gone, they show that they prepare themselves to fight against the furries. Quick, check out the next TikTok. There's some wild and crazy furry stuff. Go check it out. Okay, now that they're gone. Aim for the head and the tail, that's what power system time, if that's- What I think is funny is that they try to become an undercover furry and they're not really undercover, just look at this example, do you think that this is a furry? Hello fellow furries. Don't worry guys, it's just me. I even got some more. It's best to go undercover, they won't know it's you. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. And the third one. Oh hello fellow furries. Don't worry guys, it's just me. But what do furries especially do in this conflict? Well, actually they don't do really much. The gamers just took videos they thought were really cringy regarding furries and took them to, I don't know, to start a war against the furries. The most prominent clip that is used is this one. To be honest, I don't think that's cringy. I rather think it's cute. What do you think? Well, I'm an adult person, but all these people on TikTok, I think they're, I don't know, between 16 and 25, 26. And I don't really get, why do they still have Nerf guns? Is it a thing in the US or elsewhere that people are having Nerf guns? Because people in my age normally don't have Nerf guns. If you know more, tell me. But what is my opinion regarding this war? I think the gamers totally started the war. The furries didn't do anything to start the war, so I think it's just the gamers thing because they thought some furry videos were cringy. And I also think that a lot of furries are also gamers, so I don't really get this kind of conflict. The problem here is that both on my German and my English channel I got some death threats where people are telling me that they are gamers and want to kill me or I should commit suicide and anything. That's definitely not funny. Normally all this furry war thing appears funny to me and I, I like it to be honest. I had to laugh while watching some of these clips, but 
Ah, uh, I don't know, death threats are never a good thing. But what I need to say regarding this conflict, furries all over the world, protect yourself. Most clips are by gamers and not by furries. So, furries on TikTok, I'm not on TikTok, I can't help much here. Furries on TikTok, protect yourself. Do something against these gamers. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> oh guys, okay, I hope you like my new video and I hope you like the topic. Some people messaged me on Discord, Telegram, so that I should talk about this topic and as you can see my English is going down and it's getting worse and worse and worse. So I think I need to end this video. I hope you like it, if so give it a thumbs up! Yeah! Subscribe to my channel, that would be so incredibly awesome. On top of me, you can subscribe to my channel and over there, you can come to two more videos. I hope you guys are having a nice rest of the day, week, or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possum and fluffy. Bye-bye.